my children will be like, Mama, go, 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 go. They're everywhere. I want to take some time to talk about a Republican from Georgia named Candace Taylor. I was going to make a joke about Candace blank fit in your blank, but I'm not going to go there. You already know. Fill in the blank. Anyways, she is a far right Republican from the state of Georgia who competed in the 2022 gubernatorial primary for the Republican Party. And even though she lost by more than 70 points, literally, she still refused to concede the election and claimed that it was <laughs> that it was rigged but despite that she went on to become the Republican Party chair in Georgia's first congressional district so this is somebody who now has power despite her dispute with the party and false claims of election fraud and this is somebody who represents the party and she's now using her authority to focus on the real issues that voters care about specifically the shape of the planet now she has a podcast because of course, everybody has a fucking podcast these days. I'm part of the problem. But regardless, she now has a podcast and she brought on a couple of guests. And I just want to give you some background into who these guests are before you watch the clip with her and see their conversation. So this is courtesy of Rolling Stone. In an interview with David Weiss, a.k.a. Flat Earth Dave and Matt Long on her Jesus Guns and Babies podcast, Taylor and her guests discussed biblical evidence that the earth is actually flat as a pancake the people <laughs> so fucking stupid the people that defend the globe don't know anything about the globe said weiss if they knew a tenth of what matt and i know about the globe they would be flat earthers i honestly just love that his name is flat earth dave there's something about that that is inherently hysterical he's just rocking it he's owning it he's letting you know He's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, so take it or leave it. you got to respect it a little bit. Um, not really, but, you know, tiny bit. At least he's owning it. Now, to be clear, we haven't yet heard her thoughts on the matter yet, but we will get to the video where she talks about this with them. But first, I've got to hit you with a stunning fact about her. This woman has a Ph.D., I'm not kidding about this. She is a doctor of philosophy in counseling and supervision, and even if having... An education doesn't inherently make somebody more intelligent. It does require you to formulate arguments and use evidence. It requires you to put in a lot of work and be committed. So automatically you would expect that she wouldn't fall victim to conspiracy theories like election fraud and the election being rigged against her. But I mean, we can kind of just chalk that up to her getting swept up in this highly polarized political climate. But the question is, how will Dr. Candace Taylor respond when her guests bring up flat earth nonsense? Well, by uh, explaining how she has has some doubts herself <laughs> and her explanation here, like the reasoning behind her skepticism about the spherical globe is just I I'm not going to lie. It's downright hilarious. So let's watch more and more. I'm like, it doesn't make sense. So. Is it or not? I don't know 100%, but it's just, it doesn't make sense the other way. It, now that you see it. it. Is the, the people that defend the globe don't know anything about the globe because if they knew a tenth of what Matt and I know about the globe, they would be flat earthers because it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I can't unsee this. All the globes everywhere. I turn on TV. There's globes in the background. There's globes on there right here. Like this would be a globe if I was a normal person. Like everywhere there's globes. You see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. My children will be like, Mama, globe, 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 globe. They're everywhere. And that's what they do to brainwash. And so for me, if it is not a conspiracy, if it is, you know, real, why are you pushing so hard everywhere I go, every store, you buy a globe, there's globes everywhere, every movie, every TV show, news media. Why? Damn, I never thought of it that way. She actually maybe convinced me a little bit. Mama, there's a globe. Oh, honey, that's just part of the globe head conspiracy. <laughs> I just I feel so bad for her kids to where she has them so paranoid that every single time they see a fucking globe, they think that that's evidence of a conspiracy. I mean, at some point, they're likely going to grow out of this. Hopefully they will. But I, I just I, I cannot overstate how much I love that her evidence is. There's a globe. There's a globe. There's a globe. <laughs> like, what? 
this woman has a PhD. Now, since we're already asking why, well, I mean, why not go further and ask, why is this a conspiracy in the first place? What's the point? Why does it behoove elites to push this? What's the motive? I mean, who benefits from this? What are the benefits in particular? Why are they trying to convince us that the Earth isn't flat? It just, it doesn't make sense. You just have to think about it for two seconds. Now, I'll be honest, as bizarre as it is for an adult with a PhD, especially to be a flat earther, or excuse me, to just ask some questions about the shape of our planet, this might actually be, and I'm not joking about this, the least harmful conspiracy that she believes in, because there are other conspiracy theories that Republicans believe in that have political ramifications. Election denialism, for example, is, I think, exponentially more harmful. Flat earth... That's just, that's stupid, and it's unserious. But when it comes to other right-wing conspiracies, I think there's a lot of them that are much more dangerous. Anti-vax bullshit, QAnon conspiracy theories. But she believes in all of them. She believes in every conspiracy theory, presumably, that the GOP believes in. And it's so bad that this woman may have literally inspired a bombing of a monument in Georgia with a campaign ad that she released. Now, before we watch that, I'm going to give you some context courtesy of BuzzFeed News, who reported in July of last year, quote, an explosion on Wednesday rocked a Georgia tourist attraction that had become a campaign focus of a far-right GOP candidate for governor who described it as satanic and vowed to demolish it. Candace Taylor, who sought the GOP nomination for governor on the platform of Jesus Guns and Babies, that's now the name of her podcast, by the way, had promised to sign an executive order dismantling the monument if elected and produced a campaign campaign video vowing to demolish the satanic Georgia Guidestones. The Georgia Guidestones, sometimes referred to as American Stonehenge, have regularly been the focus of conspiracy theories. The 16-foot-tall stones are inscribed with 10 guidelines in 8 modern languages and 4 ancient scripts, and they can be seen as a compass, calendar, survival guide for catastrophic events, or particularly the message about keeping the global population to 500 million as something more sinister. Now, to be very clear, it's not like she said, hey, crazy people, you should bomb this monument here. So you can't like directly tie it to her in that sense. But I don't think it's unreasonable to question whether or not she inspired the destruction of this monument. But I just I need you to see the ad in question where she refers to it because she basically did a conspiracy theory speed run and she tried to cram in as many conspiracies as she possibly could within two minutes. And I think this might be like a world record. Like we need to get Guinness on to determine whether or not this is the most conspiratorial ad in the history of American politics. But before you watch it, try to guess what other conspiracy she's going to tie these monuments to. In fact, there's two. But try to guess which other ones are going to come up, specifically as they relate to these monuments. They told us what they wanted to do. Some might even say they had to get our permission. to at least tell us ahead of time, even if we didn't believe them. Over four billion people have been injected with something that took just nine months to create. Ask yourself why. Back in biblical times, human sacrifice was a form of demonic worship. We're still doing it in present day by killing our unborn. It's the same demons, it's the same sacrifice, it's the same sin, it's just a different time. This is a long shot in and of itself, running for governor against an incumbent. Why are you doing this? If we don't call things out and we don't acknowledge them and we don't take authority and take dominion over what God's given us, then we are no better than the evil ones that put it up. We've watched as people have destroyed our history and monuments, and in their place, they have erected statues to their own gods. The new world order is here, and they told us it was coming. It's a battle far greater than what we see in the natural. It is a war between good and evil. Yeah. 
So it's not unreasonable to think that she maybe inspired the bombing of these statues. But the question that came into my head, aside from why, as I was watching that, was do any of these Republican politicians ever care about things like health care, education, housing? Nope. Just statues, just vaccines, just things that normal people aren't concerned with. And I love how in the ad, she <laughs> this is my favorite part, probably in the ad. She actually acknowledges that since this is a primary challenge to an incumbent governor, it's going to be a long shot. Right. But yet, even though she acknowledges this, she still claimed the election was rigged. And again, I have to remind you, she has a Ph.D. You just you can't make this shit up. I don't know how the GOP finds these people, but I have to say that, you know, when you kind of pander to folks like this you know when they end up taking over the party as is the case currently i mean again she is in a leadership position you really can't be too surprised now one last thing that i want to leave you with is a parody by comedian blair erskine because there's really no way to reasonably respond to people like this they're not going to listen to facts or logic or reason so the only way to handle these folks i think is to dismiss them and outright laugh at them so that's what we're going to do because Blair, I think she uh, she put it best with this parody. She took the absurdity and ramped it up. But like, even as you watch this parody, you could tell me that this was a regular Republican. And if I didn't know that this was a parody, I wouldn't be shocked by that. But regardless, let's enjoy it. You know, I'm not a scientist because that is a made up job, but I know that the earth is flat, okay? Because if the earth was round, why would maps be flat? They can never answer that, okay? And people want to be like, well, oh, if the earth is, is flat, then what about night and day? Hmm, I don't know. Let me think about it. Maybe because the earth is double-sided and God flips us over when it's time for us to go to bed and flips us back over when it's time for us to wake up like I do with my husband. Like, use your brain. Use your head for a minute. If the earth was round like a globe, everything would be falling off of it. All the oceans will be dripping down it like ice cream, okay? Unless the earth is a DQ blizzard where nothing falls out. But even then, sometimes things do fall out and they do have to give you your money back. So that doesn't really make sense to me. They're trying so hard to make us think the earth is a globe. I see globes on TV, globes at my children's school. I saw a globe at Hobby Lobby, a place of worship, Hobby Lobby. There is a globe there. I mean, if I were a normal person, there would be a globe behind me, but I have a rotary telephone that's not hooked up to anything, so Bill Gates can't track me. Okay, because I'm using my head. I'm gonna come. Ah. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the come zone. Come. Come. 